We are strong enough to do it, and we are strong enough and smart enough to make meaning of it. And did you hear me say we? I mean we. We were always allies in helping the country create racial justice together. It really makes sense to become one, where we can actually be more powerful. I am a brown-skinned immigrant, and at one point early in life, I was an eldest immigrant child. My family arrived in the States in 1972. I do racial justice work because it enables me to be in the world in a way that starts to feel just, starts to feel fair. The truth is, is that people of color are dying in the United States every day, but mostly in a slow and silent way. When I was about 15, we got a letter from the president and a check for like $27 and some odd cents as a result of my great uncle James being part of the Tuskegee syphilis experiments. That was a turning point for me and helped me understand that we were really talking about systemic and structural issues. Multiracial pluralistic democracy is the vision that we have and spreading that vision is important. By coming together, it's this vision, this grand vision of what the country could be. It's one of the things I found most inspiring is watching communities come together in resistance and even beyond resistance talking about in a proactive way what's possible. We need to ratchet up the scale of our work and make sure that everybody in the country who wants it can get access to it. We need to grapple with the challenges of a new administration, a new Supreme Court, what I predict are going to be a new set of attacks. It's absolutely necessary that we think about how we expand a multiracial movement for racial justice nationally. The opportunity to bring together the Center for Social Inclusion with Race Forward, I think in that way represents the real opportunity to think about how we do that in a meaningful way.